What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I hope everyone is doing well. I have some channel messages for all the signs and then a really quick reading. And I'm on the sign of Aries. The songs that came up for you, Aries, were Out of My Head by Theory of a Dead Man and Mercy by Spencer Kane. So maybe check those out. Um, there's some things that came up, something about um, an unexpected partnership, whether it's in business or in life. There will be some type of business success that's around you. Um, there's something to do with a neighborhood and like a trip or some type of teaching opportunity, but that you have the ability to inspire other people. That your spirit is transforming to a place of having more abilities and your... Um, leadership role is being kind of front and centered in your life and your growth and your talents um, are being illuminated and it's important to know not only do you have a lot of abilities you have the um, ability to transform any outcome in your life to go in the direction of your desires and you do that by your honesty, by your sense of adventure, by your ability to communicate, to work a crowd, to talk to people. You know, your adaptability will take you really far in this life. And your spirit is kind of bringing you to a place of, you know, remembering to be grounded for one, but it's bringing you to a place where you don't need to isolate yourself, where you don't need to worry about the stress and anxiety that you have in your life. You can um, just understand that your hard work and your loyalty and your honesty and your kindness will bring you everything that you'd want and need. Um, you have the ability to encourage other people with your realism, with your patience, with your clear decision. You're, a leader, you're able to take the lead in situations where other people wouldn't be able to. Um, you have really good communication skills. Um, it's time to make a decision about something in your life where you're uncertain about maybe how another person feels or how what the other person's going to do, but they actually have the same feelings that you do. So it's a need to kind of go out on a limb here and be more optimistic about the outcome of the situation because it definitely could go in your favor, um, whatever that may be for you. I feel like this is something or someone that you're not talking to, but you haven't really made a decision about. Or maybe this is how this person is about you. But the desire's there. Um, this person remembers. It's a lot of memories, but they feel like you have a lot of options. Um, maybe you might have kept some secrets or you kept them a secret in the past, but there was always the potential here. But it was like you moved on and didn't really... Um, take it seriously and you could have but I think maybe looking back now you want to expand more on this situation and um, I definitely feel like you could um, the bottom is the ten of pentacles so the death card the star two of swords Chariots. You're trying to make a decision about whether or not you can revive the situation with this person. And I think that this person is really stressed out or you're really stressed out about this because you know that it would technically be leaving someone out of this equation. And it's like you know what it is that you want, but you kind of might be pushing people away or you've been through a lot. So you kind of keep your thoughts and opinions to yourself even though you'd like to open up to this person you'd like to give them more um, you know that there is a sense of needing to leave things behind or maybe that's why it hasn't went anywhere with this person but there's a need to be honest there's a need to um, maybe pick up the phone maybe make a decision um, I do feel like some of you guys there's a pregnancy uh, maybe you feel like there's someone that you're involved with that ended up getting pregnant and um, you're not really sure how to do everything, how to make everything work. And I feel like it's important for you to understand that your happiness is important as well. That you're um, going to be able to work whatever this is out. Um, 
but you have to be able to adapt and just know that that's going to be kind of required to move forward and to speak things out, to use that mouthpiece to bring you, to express yourself in a way to bring yourself happiness as well as, you know, the sense of independence that you want to have. But there's so many things that you have but maybe it's having a little bit more faith in this person or the situation and knowing that you can bring it out of whatever it ended up being um, that you have the mental capacity but you're also being taught something or you're teaching other people in the process it says baby you're flawless you make me want to turn on all the lights everything you say plays in my mind i'll never lie to you just don't hold back from me you're something like an angel you do something to my mind you have the most gorgeous smile, and I choose you over anybody else. It says addicted to you, only wants you, and it says gain more knowledge. Um, I regret how things ended, and you hurt their feelings, or vice versa. It says, hold on, I still want you. Come back, I still need you. Um, the old me is dead and gone, so there's no point in dwelling on the past and second-guessing your intuition about this. You are manifesting abundance into your life. But it's important to be practical about that as well. It says, I can't move on. And it says, find someone that loves you more than I do. Um, you deserve someone who can love you how you deserve. And I'm broken and not over my past. It says, it hurt me how I hurt you. I can't believe I did it. You're the only one on my mind, so tell me, can you turn around? I need to be honest about my feelings, and I don't want these other people, but they won't leave me alone. You walked in the room, and now my heart has been stolen. You got the power over me in my mind. I don't want to hurt you, but right now I have to be alone, even though I want you to stay. Would it be selfish of me to ask you to stay? The truth is, I wasn't over my past when I met you. I'm ready to open up and tell you how I feel. You never called me. And I don't know if you ever cared. It says, I have a plan in my head. I've been feeling like it's impossible to say it all. And I've been holding too close. Um, this song, Truly Madly Deeply by Savage Garden, that says, I can't help on feeling words can't come that easy. And I wish I knew what you were thinking. So it's almost like two sides of the fence where you want to know how this person's feeling and they want to know how you're feeling. But it's like you almost feel like it's impossible to work it out because there's still some kind of like loose ends from your past or their past that they have to work out. And maybe that's why this person has to be on their own or that's why they have been. And I feel like there's also um, maybe some addicting, addictions, <laughs> addictions. Um, maybe there's someone in your life that you feel like you have to help. Maybe you just feel like... You don't really see a way out of this right now, but at the same time, um, you don't want to let this other person go, even though it would be selfish to ask them to stay. And this person, like, they want to give you everything or, like, you want to give them everything. Like, you want basically to give them everything, but, like, right now, maybe all you can offer is friendship. Maybe you don't know how the situation would end because you haven't really told them like what you want to do like maybe in the future maybe it's just not happening right now maybe you just want to have like renewal and growth in the situation with this person but you know that there's things that you have to do or vice versa like in the meantime between times so it's important to um maybe just be honest and maybe communicate with everyone involved starting with whatever one is closest to you if you stay with someone or if you're with someone but Listening to your spirit, listening to your inner guidance, and not listening to the negative thoughts and the negative um, emotions, you know, freeing yourself from that negative shit so you can make a clear decision. Spending some time on your own, meditating, listening to the meditation videos on, on YouTube, they help a lot, especially when you're sleeping, um, to kind of reprogram your subconscious, because that really does help with a lot of things. So anyways, that's all I have for you guys. Hope you have a good night.